What would you say was your biggest obstacle when it came to finding your own voice? Biggest obstacle, I think, was was getting past that that resistance to fail. I think was the the biggest thing. Thinking that every every piece had to be the home run. <laughs> you know, this this is the one that's going to get me in the gallery. You know, and stuff like or they say this is the one that's going to make me go viral. Uh, just just getting past that and understanding, like like we talked earlier, like just because that piece failed it failed but you learned in that process and you gained skills in that process so now remember those failures learn from those failures and leapfrog off of that you know to to the successful piece and you you're gonna you're gonna fail a little bit you know i just unloaded a bunch of failures at the kiln last night for a new series that i'm working on but when i work on the next series like that it's gonna be awesome because i learned so much more and i took all the proper notes and i'm excited about what came out the kiln yeah, I was bummed for like 10 seconds, but then it's like, ooh, when I make these again, though, now we got them right. So when you finally let go of that feeling of like you need to make every pot perfect, how did your pottery start evolving? Well, then I started taking more risk. You know, it's like, oh, OK, well, I can do I can do a one color graphic on my work. And then it's like, OK, well, how can I do two color graphics? OK, well, two color graphics, then you know, but they're the two colors are kind of separate. It's easy to separate them. And then it's like, no, I want to do three color. I want to do four color. I want to do gradations. I want to do all of you keep pushing yourself, you know, and that's the fun part of getting loose of that, getting rid of that, that failure, that fear of failure is because then you, you pretty much unleash your inner artist to do anything and everything and just have fun with it. And then, you know, like I said, take good notes as you go. <laughs> and you'll see, you'll see, you'll be amazed at what you come up with. I absolutely love that. Shaping Nation, if you get over that fear of failure with your pottery, your pottery is going to grow exponentially and you're going to find your voice so much faster that way. I love that.